Well, there is a growing controversy over delaying doses of the coronavirus vaccine to have more to go around. Medical reporter Liz Bones explains the concern that going longer between vaccinations could affect confidence. The World Health Organization now saying it does approve delaying the time between coronavirus vaccine doses. The goal, of course, is to have more vaccine available to go around. The organization's strategic advisory group of vaccine specialists made this call, according to the Associated Press. They were specifically referring to the Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccine. The new WHO guidance now says that the interval between doses can be extended up to 42 days. That's up to six weeks. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, however, has not made this recommendation to delay between doses longer than the 21 days for the Pfizer vaccine. It does appear when you get two shots, this vaccine is 95% effective at protecting you from getting sick from the coronavirus. Their concern, of course, is going against research could put public health at risk, and that would give those already hesitant perhaps another reason to avoid getting the vaccine. What I'm concerned about is that, that, that there's still a population of folk that are super anxious about this vaccine, and most likely that's the population that needs it the most. I understand fully where those reservations come from. I understand the history. Um, I understand where it's coming from. Um, but I still had to do what was best for me, my family, and the, those that I serve. Pfizer does now say it's ready to send out millions of vaccines each day. So in the future, the Biden administration has said it will release all available doses and not hold those doses back to make sure the second dose is available for many. What we're really trying to do here is simplify the distribution. In a sense, we've been getting in our own way, making things overly complicated. And so long as there are not any manufacturing glitches, we're confident that the supply of vaccine will be there when people return for their second dose. Operation Warp Speed has not made that recommendation so far. Keep in mind the World Health Organization makes its recommendations based on available supply for foreign countries and that need for very cold storage with the Pfizer vaccine that may not always be available. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.